In this demo, we'll see how to use logging in Symantec Kernel. Adding logging to an application can be crucial to help you monitor and debug in any application, and this is no different in Symantec Kernel. You might choose to add logging to help you track issues or analyze performance or simply look at some diagnostics as to how your agent is behaving. Within the context of Symantec Kernel, Logging can help provide you with insights into how the internal planner component and the LLM are arriving at decision making throughout your conversational process. So here we're in Visual Studio and we've got open here the program.cs file and this is just a console application that lets us interact with our customer service agent that we've been building throughout this series. The key lines are here between lines 35 and 37 and those are the bits of code that tell Semantic Kernel where to emit logs to. So in this instance, we're emitting logs to the console and then down here where we set the minimum log level using an enum. So what we can do is we can take a closer look at this enum. Now at the moment it's set to trace, but just to give you a feel for the logging levels, we can see we have trace, warning, none, debug, information, and we have some others such as critical and error. Uh, each of these will surface varying levels of error and logging data. What we'll do is we'll set it to information and run the application. And what we'll see here is the console application is going to spin up and we'll ask what the agent can do. Under the hood, Semantic Kernel and the LLM are running over the available plugins and native functions that form this agent integration and it has discovered there are three main capabilities that this agent has available to it. Okay, we do get some logging, we can see that here with the green text and it's just some very basic diagnostics that tell us the OpenAI chat completions service is being used, uh, the number of tokens that were used in the prompt, how many tokens were used for the completion, and then the total number of tokens that were used as part of that whole interaction there. So very basic diagnostics. What we can do now is we can get more insights into what's actually happening by adjusting the logging level. So we'll stop the application and we'll change this to trace. Now, you wouldn't normally use trace in your deployed application because it can surface low level details as to how your agent has been implemented. So we've spun up the agent and the very first thing that we see here is Semantic Kernel and the Internal Planner in conjunction with the LLM has discovered there are three native functions that are available that belong to the bookings plugin. So there is a native function to get the available date book an appointment and cancel the appointment. And we can just verify that by doing this here and looking into the bookings plugin. And we can see that there is actually code within the solution that performs these activities. So there's a, a native function to get the next available date, to book an appointment and to cancel an appointment. And just as a side note, the attributes that we can see in lines 27, 34 and 58 these are the natural language statements that are used by Semantic Kernel and the LLM to discover these methods for use. So just like before, we can ask the agent what it can do. We get more data this time. In this particular trace, the first thing that we see here is the chat history. So that's all of the data that's sent over to the LLM. In this instance, OpenAI's GPT-4 model and we get the same diagnostics that we got before. Now, pretty straightforward so far, um, but where logging really helps is when you're trying to diagnose bugs and issues in your code. If it's set to information, you ain't gonna get the level of detail that you need. And actually, while building this course and some of the integrations, I've actually used logging to help me problem solve issues. So we will say something insane, like I want to make a booking one million days in the future and send that to the agent. Again, we get the chat history. However, we can see we've caused an exception, right? We have to scroll up to see it here, but we have a failure that says the function has failed to book an appointment, basically because the value that was inferred and then calculated was not a valid date time for the particular parameter date. Now, we can use that to debug, right? So if we were to take that error message and we can see, well, we're trying to find a native function called book appointment, that belongs to our booking plugin, the parameter is date, and we can see that here, right? So we would have to codify some logic or do something with the, the conversational orchestration 
to handle that. And that might be some additional information in a system prompt to tell the agent how to behave when incorrect data is supplied. If we scroll down a little bit further here, we can see that the function then gets completed. Uh, we can see that it failed to handle the tool requests. We got as in the exception that was raised. And then it finishes up with the tokens that were used, how many were used to complete and the total number of tokens. And then the agent tries to recover actually and it says, I'm sorry, but that date was too far in the future. Can you please provide a more realistic date for the booking? Now, in your production application, you are probably gonna to want to log these sort of failures to better inform you as to how people are interacting with your agent. So that was it. That was a very quick overview of how to set up logging within Semantic Kernel. You can find out more information about the various levels with examples in the accompanying blog at jamiemcguire.net.